So you want to build a bot or maybe you've got a bot and you want to start kicking some bot butt with that bot. Um, what I'm going to teach you today is not specifically how to build a bot, but more importantly, how to make sure that that bot doesn't fail because there's nothing worse folks than a bad bot. So this is the six mistakes that you want to avoid with your bot. You don't do these ones. All right. The first mistake, and this is like every bot in the world. All right. I, I coined a phrase. I call it the money flow because you know, you got a bot, obviously you can do a lot of things. You can do customer support, you know, you, you can do generate leads, but you want to make some money with that bot. And what a money flow is, is going to be the flow that you want to send traffic into. It's the flow where the money is made. It's where you're going to generate the leads and you're going to turn that new lead into a sale. So obviously, depending on what kind of business you have, if you're in a service business, maybe you book an appointment. Uh, if you sell a product, maybe you want to just get somebody to a website right away. The most important thing that I can tell you with your money flow, with your lead inflow is to grab their information as fast as physically possible. One of the mistakes I made in early bots, and there's some variations to this depending on what it is that you got. But what you want to do is right out of the gates, you want to just sit, you want to ask a question like this. So, hey, Bob, excited to give you blank. Before I do, I just want to confirm, is this still the best email to stay in contact with a arrow or a finger pointing down? Because as you probably know, one of the greatest advantages of chatbots is they give you one click opt-in. So just make sure that you don't miss that opportunity. And above all else, do not make the mistake of focusing on anything besides your money flow at first, which brings us to point number two. What you don't want to do is you don't want to try to get too fancy. And I know you're probably thinking, Matt, you build the most elaborate chatbots in the world. What are you talking about? Well, here's the thing. Uh, we knew early on that if we built the best bots in the world, we could have a major competitive advantage and we could provide them for our valued students as well. So just because you see us building bots for companies like MiniChat, we had the honor to build MiniChat's bot, and we build these very elaborate experiences that are customized, out of the gates, you don't want to do that. Okay, that's why we provide bots to people so they don't have to do all that work because the reality of it is, bots can take a long time to build and we start building these big elaborate things the next thing you know you're going to look down in 10 hours will have passed so out of the gates try not to get too fancy mistake number three is having a lack of personality in your bot uh, you want to make your bot something that's light and playful uh, a lot of times we'll give bots personalities where you know something like this kind of bumbling sort of you know, a person that's always trying to, you know, do a good job for the customer and do a good job. But, but the best advice that I can give you with your bot is to use your bot in a way to position you as an expert. Maybe it's you or your company or clients companies or whatever it is, because what's great about bots is it creates this conversation and believe it or not, even though it's automated, this conversation creates a real bond with your users. It's a real thing. I've seen it with my own eyes. You can, when you have somebody in your bot, you can literally watch them interacting with the bot. So don't be afraid to take some shots, to throw in some cheesy jokes, to do whatever you got to do. Just make sure you actually create a persona, like a personality for your bot. Maybe it's a robot character. We build a lot of cool robot characters for our students. Um, but make sure that your, your, your bot has a little bit of soul, even though it's something mechanical. All right. Number four is making sure not to use any more words than you need to. Okay. Now I'm not telling you that you shouldn't have long conversations. In fact, we built a bot for Grant Cardone that has had 20 minute long conversations with people. Okay. What I'm really trying to drive home here is that you want it to be conversational. And whenever you're talking, it's so funny because I, I actually demoed the world's best bot in the world at the mini chat conference, or I showed a conversation and, and I said one thing and then the bot came back with this, this big, long paragraph. When you're at a party and you say, Hey, what's going on? My name is Amy. How are you? If somebody goes, Oh, blah, 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 blah. You're like, all right, I'm out of here. Right? So you got to make sure to give people conversation in bite sized pieces. So you should never have more than like one or two sentences. You should make your sentences short and punchy and you want to break them up with different message bubbles. So what I like to do is never have more than like 
two message bubbles that never have more than one or two sentences each, and then maybe a GIF and then maybe a button. You wanna break it up. You always wanna make sure that from time to time, you're giving the user a button so that it's actually a two-way conversation, all right? Number five is the biggest mistake you can, you can make is not focusing on the leads. It's all about leads. It's all about the lead generation. How do you get people in there how do you get people that are actually like giving you an email giving you a phone number the name of the game is omni-channel marketing so if you lose track of that for a second then what you're going to have is you're going to have something that's just going to be sitting there and it's not going to be used it's all about getting the people into it all right and the sixth thing and actually i'm going to give you a seventh thing here because i love you um, but the sixth thing is, is having poor planning in advance. The last thing you want to do is just sit down at a computer and, and just start doing this thing on your own. Obviously, if you use our bot builders programs, we map it all out and it's all step by step. But if you're going to do it on your own, make sure you have a plan in advance. The last thing you want to do is spend any time on any flows that are not essential or just you just don't want to build any bridges out to the middle of nowhere. I think that's so essential that you just you, you just get a plan it doesn't have to be anything elaborate but it's like these are the flows i'm going to build these are the custom fields that i need the data that i'm going to capture these are the tags that i'm going to need so everything that you build you always want to build it twice you want to have a plan and then you actually want to do it thing number seven can't leave this one out you got to follow the rules so depending on what platform your bot is on say for example facebook messenger you may already know that Facebook Messenger has what's called the 24 hour rule. And what that means is that you can't message anybody outside of the 24 hour period from the moment that they've interacted with your bot. So anytime they interact with your bot, they click a button, they send a message, they do anything at all to actually have a contact with your bot. You can message them as many times as you want within that 24 hours. And, and we actually teach how to maximize that 24 hours. Now, Outside of that, you can still message them, but what you're gonna to wanna to use is something called a sponsored message, which people complain, I understand, you don't wanna to pay to contact your subscribers, but at the same time, I'm just gonna tell you, it's a great way to get clicks and engagement at a very low cost. So just make sure you follow the rules. If you don't know the rules, learn what they are, because the last thing you wanna do is ever get in trouble because if you do it right, if you build a bot, the wonderful thing about a bot is it will last for years and years and years. So just imagine you've got an unpaid employee there to help you generate leads, make sales, and make your customers smile. Nice going, champ, but we don't have to stop here. If you wanna really be ambitious, click on one of these videos, or if you wanna go the extra mile, hover over my head, click on subscribe, and then click the little bell. If you want some free goodies, go to swipemystuff.com and I'll see you in the next training.